Hello, Blake Root is here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. And today I want to take a brief look at On One Photo Raw. Now, at this point, the software has not quite yet been released. It will be released very soon. I don't want to show you how it works, but I want to talk about what it is and the future possibilities that I see for myself while I work with Photoshop and On One Photo Raw. So let's go ahead and get into it. So on one photo raw, it's been anticipated for a very long time. Let me begin this by saying that this is a, not a beta copy because I didn't do beta for this. This is a pre-release copy for certain individuals. And I got lucky enough being a guru with them to be able to look at this before the software becomes available. So on one photo raw is the workflow solution to a, I don't want to say a problem, but this is the next innovation for on one. Okay. They've taken everything that we know about on one, thrown it out the window and rebuilt everything from the ground up. This is not just an upgrade to effects 10. Okay. This is, this is brand new and it's pretty wild how it works. So now all your edits happen on a raw file, as opposed to being done on a duplicate copy. So if you were to compare this software to something, let's say, okay, we, what is it actually? Well, the best way to compare this, I think would be like, if you were to take an hybrid version of Adobe bridge and blend it with Adobe camera raw with some of the filtering capabilities of Photoshop, all blended into one big ball. And I'll show you how that works in a second here. I don't necessarily want to compare it to Lightroom because with Lightroom, you still have to jump into Photoshop for things. So it's actually more like a bridge plus Adobe camera raw. However, if you're familiar with Lightroom, a lot of this is going to look very similar for you as well. So on one photo raw is essentially three or, or more things built into one. I'm, I'm going to be touching on three right now. I'm going to be touching on the browsing capability, the developing capability and the filtering capability with the things like on one effects. Okay. So this is the browse section and the browse section, it'll look very similar to many other browsing uh, forms that you've seen before. However, it's very fast, extremely fast. The previews render extremely fast and moving between photos is extremely quick. Down here, you can see that we have many different ways that we can look at our image and it's rather easy to switch between them. We either have the grid that you see here. We have the single image taking up the whole uh, center focus there, or we have the film strip with the center focus. And this is probably my favorite way to look at them, but you can see, we can navigate through the photographs and we can color photographs rather quickly. And we can even start giving things, um, you know, star uh, quality. So if I said, uh, this one is definitely going to be a five star image. It's one of my favorites. I can now go back and go into the uh, cataloging end of things and pull up my five star images, my four star images, my three star images, and so on and so forth. You can also color uh, great these two to give them their own colors. So if I were to click on one of these colors, I could say that this is going to be in the green category. And now, uh, because maybe green for me means landscapes. Now, if I look at my green category, everything that green is in the cataloging will pull up and all those images that are tagged as such will pull up. You can also favorite them as well. Uh, and then, you know, you just move through these images and we'll just kind of scroll along through here. You can see just how quickly everything comes together here. Let's go to a good photograph that we can make look a little bit better. I'm trying to find a rather difficult image to work with because I want you to see how this works on the raw image. So let me grab this one. Okay. And now we're going to go into develop. So here's a develop module In the develop module. You get access to many things that you used to tone, contrast, highlights, shadows. So as we move, maybe our highlights here, we can pull some of those highlights back and pull our shadows up and start to get a more uh, appealing image here uh, by bringing up some of that exposure that we missed out on uh, in the process of taking this photograph. So this is all happening right on the raw file. Okay. If we make any edits to this, any edits that I make to this, I can actually copy those settings and put on any other photograph. Now, the beauty of this really rests in the fact that this is an a la carte menu. Okay. Here you have your tone and color, but let's say you want to add something else. You want more color adjustments here. You can click on your color adjustments, and now you have much more access to various different colors with the ability to get an eyedropper view on some of those colors. If there's not enough of a, of a color there, it's going to ask you for a more vivid selection to find maybe an area that has more uh, vivid colors in it. But when you target those colors, it will bring you to the color that you need to edit which is actually very cool. I like this a la carte menu that we have here. So, you know, if I just want to delete that, I can, but I, maybe I can add some glow in here, uh, bring up some of that glowing amount and have that happening right on that raw file, which is making this image look a little bit better.
So I did say uh, beyond this a la carte and develop module that we also have something like effects. So if we hopped over to effects, but that's instantaneous, you can go from develop to effects instantaneously. Okay. And then you'll see when you add filters here, you have all the things you had in on one photo 10 in one big palette area. And the way this works now is your effects will stack themselves on top of what happens and develop. So let's do something crazy here. Let's just go ahead and add maybe a big sunshine here with a big bold gold and a, a pretty high amount and even boost up that saturation a little bit. If we hop back into develop, now we can edit this image underneath of all the stuff that's happening when we went over to effects. So you can see rather quickly, I mean, that was just a really quick edit, but this image already is starting to look better, even with that addition that we did there. And all of this stuff, like I said, is happening on the raw level. So if I wanted to copy these settings, I could just right click here, say copy settings, and then go over to this image and then right click here and go to paste settings. And now it asks you, do you want all the settings or just the develop settings or just the effects settings? Well, let's just paste all of it. So now all those settings would go on there. Now, of course, because this was a, uh, a much brighter exposure to begin with, it's not going to look that great. Uh, we may have to bring down that uh, exposure there. Uh, but this was a bracketed series. I'm just really showing you an example. If you want to reset those, just go ahead and press reset all. And now you're back to square one on that photograph with no uh, data loss on that photograph at all. There are a lot of intricacies that I can't wait to jump into with On One Photo Raw. This is just a brief introduction. I just wanted to show you what it is. On One Photo Raw is a browsing software combined with a develop module that works on the raw level and the ability to apply effects right to the stack of your images. And it's very smooth and the transitions are very nice and clean. You can bounce from develop to effects immediately and anything you save from those settings can be applied to any photograph. So let's say you do a big family portrait series and you have this certain effect that makes your images look like your images. You can copy those settings from the first image that you did in that whole series and paste them throughout the rest of them and you're immediately done with your images uh, in, in the processing. You may have to go through those in the develop module like I showed there and go back into that stack and move them around, but that's the beauty of it. You're not stuck. You're not stuck with a flattened version of those settings now. You can always hop back into any one of those photos, tweak a little bit of that exposure a little bit, and then hop out. So you can be mass producing your images with your style on them almost immediately. What I also like about this is if I go back to browse and I have that image selected that we worked on there, I can select that image, come up here, go to file, and go to send to Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. So I can start the bulk of my workflow right here, hop into Photoshop and use any of my plugins or extensions that I have in Photoshop to boost that image along also. So again, my name is Blake Rudis. If you like this, please comment, share it, and tell a friend. I'm really looking forward to what On One Photo Raw is going to open for me in my workflow. As I experiment with it more, I see it as a very viable option for me to start my workflow to bounce between Photo Raw and Photoshop. Thanks for taking the time to watch this.